this is a special time and uh, there's an awakening happening for those who will, will be the chosen. Um, we're not uh, just here to be called, but we're here to be chosen. We're here to answer the call and the ones who answer the call are the chosen and the chosen are the ones who don't fit into this world, the ones who hear the voice of the Lord, who respond to his word, who continue to yield to his spirit against the grain. These are people who learn to think for themselves and learn to listen to the truth. And that's uh, you, if many of you have been following any teachings that I do or the ministry that we've done through the church and what overcoming is. It's overcoming this, this lower self, this earth self that is um, anchored to this realm, to this world, to this earth. And we set our affections above where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. And uh, we follow the Spirit and His voice to reveal to us the plan of God, the purpose of God, the truth of who God is and who we are to Him. And when you start looking at that, you're, you start to expect something uh, much different. Uh, you start looking for the things that people tend to look for. You no longer look for the things that people love to look for in this world. In fact, you look to change the world. You look to overcome the world. You look to, re to renew and shine light into this world. That's who we are. And uh, it's not a lot of us, but we, we're here. We're here. So we're called the overcomers. We're called uh, the high call people. They respond to the high call of God. Uh, we're the ones that's seeking to be, to have the hundredfold reproduced in us. And uh, we're not settling for common uh, Christianity. Um, we are the ones who have to stand up and stand out and lead the way as to what it looks like. And this is a time what it looks like to follow God and, and to demonstrate who he is. So, and this is a time where that demonstration is about to increase drastically. And so prepare yourselves and and get ready for some great things um, to happen and uh, things that you probably have dreamed of or things you haven't even imagined but god has already dreamed it god has already thought of it he is the one what we say now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think and so uh, those of us who are sold our hearts and given our hearts to god scripture says his eyes go to and fro throughout the whole earth seeking for those, looking for those to show himself strong on their behalf, whose hearts are perfect toward him, whose hearts are in love with him. And that's us, that's us, that's you and I. We are, we're the ones falling in love with him. And we wanna to continue to fall in love with him. And um, the, the big, uh, it's a big separation that's going on. And the separation, uh, uh, is those who will remain earthly versus those who will come and allow themselves to be separated uh, with the washing of water by the word. Those who come to be sanctified by the truth, have their minds renewed by the pure word of God. These are the ones who are going to be put on display to shine light in the dark. And I'm telling you this because it's time to really shake off any limited thinking, timid thinking. You're going to have to stand firm in your truths, firm in your calling, firm in the knowledge that God loves you, firm in knowing your mission, that we are the light shining in darkness. And so um, do what you have to do to continually rehearse, renew, refresh your mind to this truth and uh, to protect it at all costs. Uh, as your mind is being renewed, your heart is being flooded with light, protect it at all costs. Don't let anything negative and images and narratives interfere with uh, this energy, this frequency that's coming uh, and increasing from the heavens on here. The, I keep saying that the spiritual atmospheric pressure is increasing and it's pressing out the middle ground and the gray area. So people will find themselves being extremely 
turned toward God or extremely turned away from God. But the pressure that is increasing on this earth is causing uh, the truth to emerge. Uh, great truth is emerging. True colors are being exposed. And um, in a world that is filled with uh, facades and fakes and phonies and make-believe things, uh, you know, the light is shining brighter and brighter. So as Isaiah 60 says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Get ready. You're going to carry glory. And it's going to cause the kings and Gentiles and many in the world to come to thy shining. And it's going to cause uh, a great increase. Because what comes along with uh, spiritual uh, increase and spiritual growth and maturity and spiritual prosperity. And much, much, and much resources will be entrusted into your hands not for your personal pleasure but for demonstrating to this world and receiving and treating God's harvest in these last days with uh, the kind of honor and power that reflects God and so we need to get prepared to, re to, to represent him fully on this earth and to do it with great honor, carrying great glory and power like never before, resources like never before. So let your mind be expanded and be renewed and think on these things. And uh, the Lord of glory, and I say again, the Lord of glory is coming in to fill his temple. It's a living temple and that's who we are living. We are his living temple. And yes, we are becoming all uh, that he has designed us to become. So don't be discouraged by what people say, what they think. <laughs> don't let anyone's opinion uh, deter you or put you on a detour. You continue your path and be resolute in it and uh, be willing to speak up and speak the truth no matter how unpopular it makes you. We're not here to fit in and be popular, but we are here to know him and represent him at all cost. And we know our reward is in this life will be great and in the life to come even greater. We are being prepared to lead the way into another life on this earth. And we are being prepared to be priests and kings unto our God and we're being prepared to rule and reign with him in the millennium and beyond. So this is, uh, if you have a heart to be the ones who will answer the call of God and to wake up from the entrapment of this world, the blindness of this world, uh, the fallen uh, nature of this world, and wake up to who you are, to who God is calling you to be, to be filled with life, to be filled with the light, to carry his divine light, and to shine and be the instrument of love and truth in this world. This is for you. Let's know that you're not the only one, that we're growing together in this, in the mighty name of Jesus. So we thank God that we have this great opportunity to live in and be part of this overcoming life. He put us here for a reason. He put us here for a purpose. And that is to fill us up with himself so that we can be the demonstration of God here on earth in the mighty name of Jesus. So just wanted to share that on this beautiful evening while we reflect on what it means to overcome and we reflect on uh, what this year is bringing. This is a new year still, so to speak. It's 2024, and I'm expecting great things to be measured out in leaps and bounds as we go forward to say things that would seem ridiculous to the natural mind, 
to expect things, to write things down and call things out uh, like never before, you know, to pay off all, all things, to buy things, land and buildings and use these lands and buildings to be a blessing to people, to become uh, literally distribution uh, centers, warehouse centers, uh, stocked up with goods that can um, be on reserve for helping people in, in need and uh, going through great catastrophe. Uh, we're we're going to make big difference down here. And not only that, to be able to have a word, uh, to be able to teach truth, to be able to bring healing and deliverance uh, to tormented souls in the name of Jesus. We're going to push back darkness and we're going to take all this authority that God has given us and we're going to put all devils in check in Jesus name. It's God's time to shine and we are his lamps. So let's take in the oil and let's get full of his life and let's burn, baby, burn and light it up in the name of Jesus. God bless you. We love you. Keep overcoming. Look up. Stand up. Stand out. This is our time in Jesus name. Amen.